In this video, I'll show you the steps necessary in order to use SQL Developer to connect to your new autonomous transaction processing database. So what we're going to do is use SQL Developer to connect to our newly provisioned autonomous transaction processing database. I've already used the steps specified in our previous video to download the database credentials or wallet file. So we are all set to connect to our new autonomous database with SQL Developer. So I have my SQL developer application already running. I'm going to go over here to the left hand side, click on the plus to add a new connection. Now we can give this connection a name, whatever you want it to be. I'm going to call it autonomous TP and then we need a username and that's going to be our admin user. And the password we need to specify is the password we provided when we originally provisioned that autonomous transaction processing database. So that, let me just add that now. And then we're going to save that password. And then I'm going to move down here and I need to change the connection type. I'm going to go all the way to the bottom and pick a cloud PDB connection type. That's what the autonomous transaction processing database is. Next, I need a configuration file and that configuration file is the wallet file that I just downloaded for my autonomous transaction processing database. So I'm going to hit browse. It's in my downloads folder double click on that and there's my wallet file very easy to identify it's going to be called wallet underscore the name of your autonomous transaction processing database dot zip there's no need to unzip it just go ahead and specify that as the wallet finally we need to decide which of the four predefined database services we want to connect to. Remember, these predefined database services allow you to control the priority of the sessions connecting to your autonomous transaction processing database. The wallet file that we downloaded earlier for our particular service is actually going to contain the predefined services for every database defined in your tenancy. So when I click on this, because I share my tenancy with a lot of other product managers here at Oracle, there are quite a number of databases listed here or ser database services listed here. But what I'm looking for is these four services, the ones that are for my particular autonomous transaction processing database. So out of those four, which do I want to connect to? Well, if I was to connect to high, the sessions connected to the high database service are going to get the highest priority when the system is under resource pressure. Now, all of the queries that are executed while connected to this service will run serially by default unless the user specifies a parallel degree um, either by applying a DOP to the object or via a hint. I could, on the other hand, go with the low service. The low service, sessions connecting to the low service get the lowest priority when the system is under pressure. And again, all of the queries executed while connected to this service will run serially. Or I could go with what is probably should be the default one, which is the medium service sessions connected to the medium service get medium priority when the system is under pressure and again the queries will execute serially while attached to this service unless the user specifies otherwise. The fourth and final service open to me is the parallel service. Now SQL statements executed through the parallel service are going to be automatically executed using Oracle's automatic degree of parallelism or auto DOP. So any SQL statement running longer than the threshold time will be automatically parallelized. Sessions attached to the parallel service, though, will get the lowest priority when the system is under pressure. And this service is typically only used by batch jobs or reporting activity. So I'm going to pick medium. As I said, that's the one we recommend. I'm going to save what I've put in so far. I'm going to go ahead and test my connection, make sure that everything looks good. And then I'm going to go ahead and connect. And that's it. Now we're connected to our autonomous transaction processing database. You can get more information on Oracle's autonomous transaction processing on my blog, sqlmaria.com, or by following me on Twitter and Facebook.